I'm at work, so I'm gonna make this quick. Um, I don't want people thinking or like feeling like, oh, um, you know, Brianna done went through this, Brianna went through that, and all this, and she's getting all this, um, uh, these reporters, and she's doing these interviews and all that. Like I said, um, like I'm about to say, I, I don't worry about nobody else. Um, I pray for people. I pray for people a lot, actually. I pray for myself. I pray for my family. And that's what I'm supposed to do, which is what I have been learning in my biblical journey. I don't know about anybody else. I can't speak for anybody else. But in my biblical journey, uh, I'm learning to do what's right and to keep my peace. So that being said, anything or any good that you see that's, that's happening about me, and so just know, know that that pain came came with it. I didn't grow overnight, and I'm still growing to this day. And further forth in my life, I'm I'm growing spiritually, mentally, physically, whatever it is that God has for me to do. And uh, yeah, I just don't want people to think that I'm using my struggles or my pains or whatever it is they think to get noticed or whatever you know because first of all a lot of people don't know that when I was brought into raising awareness about the, the condition that killed my sister and you know three years later came after me I was asked to be on the news and to you know uh share my story and I didn't know why you know I was like well okay you know I'm sitting up here hurt they, they just gave me a 50 50 percent chance to live you know and uh, want me to share my story okay so I did I didn't know what God was doing and I didn't know what he was um, I didn't know what he was Developing, I guess I could say, in my life at that time, because at this time, I mean, you t you get told that you' about to die. Maybe, you know, you don't know how long. When the doctor don't know how long you may have to live, and you hear that, you're not thinking, "Oh, I'm gonna raise awareness. Oh, I'm gonna save other women's lives." No, you're not. You're not thinking that. And that was far from my mind. You know what I'm saying? It took it took time to think about it. You know, and then I was like, "Yeah, okay, that's fine." You know, because. If if somebody would have did it for us, or if somebody, if we would have noticed the story, or if somebody would have shared their story back when my sister was having the symptoms and nobody knew that she was having the symptoms, then maybe she would have got saved, you know. And thank God, you know, for my dad because if if it wasn't for him making me go to the hospital, I wouldn't be here to, to share my story or hers, or be able to let people know exactly what you know. Uh, took my sister away so I'm very grateful you know and I don't care what anybody has to say I don't care what anybody how, how they obligations they feel like they got to pray down on me whatever it is you don't want to support me you don't want to support the things that I do that's fine I, I, I we, we had we didn't have support you know since, since my mom died you know I have a few family members here and there that checked in or made sure we okay you know, um, the closest relatives. But other than that, no. It ain't it ain't never been support. Support for what? I ain't never did nothing for it to have support. I always carried my attitude with me. I wasn't supposed to, but I did, you know. But that didn't stop God from activating his power in my life. That didn't stop God from from spiritually blessing me and being able to learn. And, and to walk the the walk the path that I'm walking now, you know, God doing this. I ain't got nothing to do with it. I don't have nothing to do with what I'm doing, besides having either a pity party that I may throw sometimes if I feel like I'm too overwhelmed. I feel like, uh, you know, I can't do this. I may I may you know I need help or something like that. You know, um, or getting in the spots where we feel like we don't. Uh, have enough money, financial, anything like that, you know, and it's, it's, um, like people say, it's pain in your purpose, and uh, the purpose in your pain, sorry, <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's purpose in your pain, and I'm starting to learn that a lot from the things that I've been experiencing, I've been going through, and, you know, and I've 
also learned through, you know, getting closer to God and walking in my face that it's okay to be yourself. It's okay to be yourself. Because, I mean, like, I have a lot of skeletons in the closet that people don't know about yet. But that don't mean that they're going to eventually come out because it, my, my skeleton in my closet might help somebody one day. You just never know. You know, so, yes, I am preparing a whole different type of Brianna in the future that God has allowed me to bring out, you know, to help whoever it is that he has set for me to help. So you see somebody doing good in their life and you see somebody, you know, getting knowledge and noticed about it, 